and a special thanks and shout out to Dave McCubbins at Community Chrysler in Martinsville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2018 Dodge Durango SRT 392. Hello everyone, today we'll be taking an in-depth walk around look and test drive of this brand new 2018 Dodge Durango SRT 392. And this Durango SRT is an octane red pearl coat. It features the black leather and Alcantara perforated micro suede interior. This vehicle is all-wheel drive. It is powered by the SRT 392 6.4 liter overhead valve, 16 valve Hemi V8 engine. Creates 475 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. 470 pound-feet of torque at 4,300 RPM. It's good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 4.4 seconds with a quarter mile speed of 13.3 seconds at 104 miles per hour. Its top speed is 180 miles per hour. It is mated to ZF sourced 8 speed 8 HP 70 automatic transmission with manual shiftability via the lever or the shift pedals mounted on the steering wheel. Known by Dodge as a 7 seat charger, the Durango SRT fits the bill with the 475 horsepower 392 SRT V8 engine under the hood. At just under 0.2 seconds slower than the Challenger 392 from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but the 5,600 pound 3 row SUV is no slouch. With stiffer front and rear springs and a stiffer anti-roll bar, the Durango SRT rides firmer than the standard trim Durangos and has a more agile handling through turns, yet still provides a comfortable and quiet ride. And this Durango SRT is equipped with the optional technology group, which includes adaptive cruise control with stop feature, advanced brake assist, blind spot monitor with cross path detection, and full speed forward collision warning, along with a lane departure warning system. Going fast as a Durango SRT can doesn't mean anything unless you can bring it down to a safe stop. Equipped with the Brembo High Performance Disc Brakes, you have 15 inch front rotors with 6 piston calipers, 13.8 inch rear rotors with 4 piston calipers. 
Dodge claims 60 miles per hour to zero in 115 feet. And this Durango sits on 20 by 10 inch 5 spoke low gloss black SRT wheels on Pirelli Scorpion Verde 295 45 ZR20 all season run flat tires. This vehicle also features side view mirrors with LED turn repeaters, xenon high intensity discharge projector beam headlamps with blacked out bezels, LED daytime running lamps, and LED tail lamps. Visually, the Durango SRT is obviously different from the rest of the pack with the aggressive front end, SRT Charger Daytona style honeycomb grille and lower air intakes, as well as the performance hood with active hood scoops. Around the rear, large circular exhaust tips and SRT badging complete the look. And remote start is standard on the Durango SRT. To operate is simple, just double press the button on the key fob. And with Chrysler's keyless enter and go smart key access system, locking and unlocking the vehicle is easy by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the black button on the door handle. The horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handles, you would open it. And inside is standard Durango fare with small ad additional touches to the SRT. You do have a textured aluminum trim, contrast stitching. You've also got vapor chrome door handles and trim, power heated mirrors, power windows, and power door locks with lockout feature. You've also got two driver memory. This vehicle is also equipped with the Beats premium audio system, stainless steel SRT tread plates, eight-way power driver and front passenger seat with four-way adjustable lumbar support, it does feature the leather with the Alcantara perforated micro suede inserts with the SRT logo and contrast stitching. Height and tilt adjustable head restraints, aggressive bolstering, and perforations for the ventilated seats. And on the dashboard, the textured aluminum trim with automatic headlamps and panel dim. You've also got fuel door release and a power tilt and telescoping leather wrap steering wheel. All right, pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Flat bottom steering wheel, satin silver trim and vapor chrome. You've also got perforated extensions on the steering wheel. It's a thick grip steering wheel with contrast stitching. Multi-view controls, Bluetooth Uconnect controls. Cruise control and that adaptive cruise controls are all mounted to the steering wheel. Completely reconfigurable instrument cluster display with a center mounted tachometer and a 180 mile per hour speedometer. iconic red engine start button. You have the 8.4 inch touchscreen display with Garmin based navigation. This vehicle is also equipped with AM FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. You have also got dual zone climate control, multiple views for your apps, heated and ventilated seats with heated steering wheel. You have also got a reverse camera with active guidance lines. Another look at the navigation system. Clear HD graphics on the screen. Down below you have redundant controls for audio and climate. You've also got your ParkSense power switch, lane departure warning system, SRT performance pages, launch control, and your stability control buttons. You connect inputs with USB, auxiliary input, and another USB charge port, as well as a 12-volt power point. Dual front cup holders and a traditional shift lever. Nice large two level center storage armrest. Inside is illuminated and also has a 12 volt power point. A 
plug in overhead, automatic dimming rear view mirror with SOS and Uconnect controls. Overhead you have illumination, LED lights for map lights, reading lights. You've also got your hatch release, power sunroof control, three channel home link universal garage door opener and sunglasses storage. Overhead you have illuminated vanity mirrors on sliding visors. In addition, you have overheaded dampened assist handles. All right, let's take a look at the second row seat. Nice wide door openings with molded cup holders, the textured aluminum trim. Drango SRTs are only available in the bucket seat form. There is no bench seat availability, but you do have the microfiber suede inserts, SRT badging. All right, this vehicle does feature the center mounted armrest with dual front cup holders. It also includes two levels of storage with a 12 volt power point similar to the front console. Another nice feature is that the rear, the third row passengers can also open it forward to allow for them to have storage. Overhead LED lighting with map lights, overhead air vents, and rear climate control. Rear passengers have positional air vents with panel distribution, heated outboard seats, two USB charge ports, and 120 volt power point. Seat back map pockets are also equipped. All right, folding the second row seat is very easy. Just lift up on the handle and pull the red strap. That'll unlatch the seat. Gives you access to the third row seat. Seats two across. It's a 50-50 split folding seat. Rear passengers also have their own cup holders, overhead LED lighting, and air vents.
Alright, opening the lift gate is easy just by double pressing the lift gate button on the key fob. Luggage area with the third row seats up is decently spacious. It is small at 17.2 cubic feet. But it is a load flat floor. You've also got a 12 volt power point, a couple grocery bag hooks, and a small storage bin as well. And underneath the floor, you do have a small amount of hidden storage with jack stowage. You've also got the amplifier and subwoofer for the Beats audio system. To fold the seats is easy, Just it's a one-handed operation by lifting the levers up and pushing the seat backs forward. With the third row seats in the folded position, your cargo capacity expands to 47.7 cubic feet. Alright, to close the lift gate, just press the button in the trim panel. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look and review of the 2018 Dodge Durango SRT392. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.